Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I wanted to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel's biggest problem. And no, it's not Maxi or a ban list or anything like that. The biggest problem is the events. Now, there are some events that are good, and there are some events that are most assuredly not good. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Because honestly, each event is basically subjective. Whether or not you liked the NR event is entirely up to you, and whether or not you had a good experience with it. However, there are very clear things that would just objectively make the events and the event system better, which would improve the game as a whole and make it a lot more enjoyable for everyone. Now, let's quickly go over to Duel Links to ex explain basically how their events work. Alright, so in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, there are a lot of events. As you can see by the side that is right here, there are a ton of things going on. Now, obviously, that's not something that will translate very well over to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, but something that will is the actual schedule for the events. Now, if we were to look at the events, and more specifically, what upcoming events there will be, there will be a big difference. So right now, currently, we have a few events going on, right? Right now, we have the WCS Have Fun campaign, which is something, I think it's a, a giveaway, uh, but we also have Grandpa Arrived, which is the event for unlocking a new character. On top of that, we have things like uh, Pick a Gift and um, the World Championship and the 6th Anniversary and stuff like that going on as well. So, a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, however, on top of that, we can also go over to, I believe, this one? Not this one. Uh, no, 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 I was right. Uh, we go over to here, and we can check out the um, the update for uh, upcoming events. So we can check out the upcoming events here, and we can see all of the events and uh, when they are slated. Uh, but most notably, what this does is this this is basically means that as soon as this grandpa one is done, there's going to be a new one right around the corner. So as soon as this one ends, immediately after uh, 2259 on July 9th, at 2300 hours, a new event is going to happen at that exact moment, right as this old one ends. Which means you are never in a dull moment. There's always a main event going on outside of just ranked duels right? So, if you wanted to play ranked, it's always there, it's always available, it's always the thing that you can do. The ranked system ch does the same thing as it does in Master Duel, which I don't think it functions as well in Master Duel, but that's a different video. But in Duel Links, you're always having that one event that's always going, that you can always participate in if you need to just play some Yu-Gi-Oh! If you just want to chill, play some games, you can absolutely do that. Now, granted, in this game, it is PvE most of the time. Sometimes it's a PvP event, but most of the time, you're just playing against the game, right? Which is fine. That's fantastic. That's a great way to just get on and play the game. Now, granted, this is a mobile game, which obviously they're more incentivized to just get you onto the game uh, instead of necessarily, like, just longer periods. I don't I don't know. I, I guess you just want people to play the game anyway, so, like, why not use the mobile game tactics in constantly having events, right? So let's hop back over to Master Duel and explain the issue with the event system. So over here, as you can see, right now we have an event that is currently going on, but it's only happening until the second. And as of right now, there isn't any other event that is going to be available after this one ends. And the Duel Trial did actually go immediately after the Synchro event ended. But after that, there isn't really anything to be held. There isn't anything that is going to happen, right? We have to now wait an additional week or week and a half until the next event starts because we just had the Synchro event. You can't have another event until two weeks later, right? So the only reason to play the game is to play ranked. But if you don't care about ranked or if ranked isn't something that you're constantly grinding for or if you're just tired of it, you don't have anything else to do. Now I hear you arguing, what about duel rooms? What about casual matches? They're right there. They're front and center, just like, you know, ranked. Yeah, but trying to force people, or more specifically, making it so that the players have to actively go out of their way to either get no rewards 
or actively find other people to duel with just to play your game in a different way than ranked the most competitive format is a terrible way to get your game to be played consistently right like just not everyone is going to enjoy that not everyone is going to want to play with other people through discord or something like that with like special challenges or what have you casual matches do not give a reward there's no incentive to playing a casual match you could just play whatever and they're honestly not the most enjoyable because people are just going to surrender there's no real point in you don't get anything there's nothing there right events are a fun middle ground between competitive and more casual right now, obviously, a more casual player is more likely to go and play Duel Links, right? But honestly, Master Duel is a very different game. It's a very different feel. What if they wanted to play Master Duel and play that format of Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, a great way to do that is through events. Sure, they don't want to climb and get to Master 1 or what have you, the highest rank. But maybe they just want to, like, play some fun games. Maybe they really like this idea of... Uh, playing, you know, the Legend Anthology and being able to play these various different decks from, from their childhood and what have you. Well, they just missed out on that event, so you would think they'd log on and be able to see another event. Right now, it's Dual Trial. They got lucky. But most of the time, that's not... I shouldn't say most of the time. Half the time, that's not the case. Half the time, there isn't another event. Right? And then on top of that, if you do get an event... It might suck. It might be terrible. And then you gotta wait another month to play a good event. Maybe that one's good, but it's probably not going to be. Let's be honest. How many of you liked this dual trial? I know you know it. I know that you know what this dual trial does. But I genuinely gotta ask. How many of you went into this and said, Oh, this'll be fun. This'll be interesting. I'm excited to play this. I doubt I doubt that you did. And I doubt you walked away from these from this event and went, yeah, no, all of those games were good. Cause I'm almost guaranteed that you basically played against either just meta or someone on a gamble deck and they just gambled and, and were better than you. You either played meta or you played some weird jank gamble versus gamble deck. Which is like, hey, the gamble versus gamble. Maybe you had fun with that. But those meta games, that's not what you signed up for. That's not what you were looking for. But of course people did it. Right? That's a problem with the event. It wasn't exactly great. So now you gotta wait another two weeks to get a good event. And maybe, maybe we'll get one. Maybe we'll get something like the NR event or like Theme Chronicle or like, uh, you know, the Fusion event or what have you, where it's like, oh yeah, this is a well-timed, well-executed uh, event that's actually entertaining, that has some uh, good things going for it, that is a good concept. Uh, the Limit 1 is a good one uh, like that as well, where it's all Limit 1 cards. Or you might get a Duelist Cup, which, hey... Some people really like it, but some people really don't. And it's not for everyone. But now you gotta wait two additional weeks just to get a chance at another event you might enjoy. So, obviously I think the events could be significantly better, but I genuinely do believe just having that other game mode for people to play if they are sick and tired of trying to grind ranked like I personally have been. It's so nice to be able to go over and just play a few games. Just chill, just play them, just have fun. But like, why would I do the dual trial? What's the point? This isn't going to be fun. Do you see my point? Hopefully you do. Uh, let me know down below if you would agree with this. Maybe you think that there is a different problem besides like a ban list because obviously that's subjective. But maybe you think that there is a bigger problem with Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I think that they really did drop the ball. I really do think that the events were a big selling point that they just didn't capitalize on. I also think that obviously the, the ban list does help. And I think like actually 
you know, making a ban list for like a best of one would have been very helpful. Like that's obviously like a no brainer, but alas, here we are. Um, I also think like there's a bunch of things that they could have done better. I think solo modes kind of made, they, de they definitely could have done that a little bit better. I think they could have done like the accessories and stuff like that, which I think that they are doing better now. There's a bunch of little things here, here and there as well. But like Master Duel is still a very good game, and I do want to see it succeed. I don't want to see Konami succeed because they're terrible as a company, but I do want to see this game in particular succeed because I really like Yu-Gi-Oh! and I really do like the way that Master Duel is created. It's a very high quality game for Yu-Gi-Oh! Is it perfect? Not in the slightest. But it could it could be significantly better than it currently is. And I think the first step is making the events better. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy it. If you did, I like it very much. I appreciate it. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as more Yu-Gi-Oh!, then just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye. Shout out to the Frost Guard, my members. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I hope you enjoy the content.